Hello everybody, today we are doing my top five favorite Joji albums, even though there's not five. Ranking Joji's album, whatever, anyways, number one, we got Smithereens. I guess that'd be number five, wouldn't it? Four. Guys, I'm getting tired. Anyways, number five, Smithereens, and ignore that. This album is incomplete, but I still enjoy listening to it a lot. I've listened to this one a lot recently because it's the most recent album probably, and it's a good time. Um, there's skippable tracks on it. Um, there is moments that I don't love. There is production choices that make no sense, and that's life. But Joji's vocals are great. Die For You is awesome. Literally one of his best songs ever. Um, Glimpse of Us is overplayed, but I like it. Uh, Inter uh, Yukon Interlude is another one of, honestly, Joji's one of his best songs ever, if you ask me. Um, Die For You and Yukon are like god tier Joji, if you ask me. Perfect, perfect songs. But almost everything else on this is honestly pretty forgettable, and I'm not a huge fan of it. So there's that. <laughs> but it's still a pretty good record. I still stand by my 7 out of 10. Anyways, moving on to the next. We have number 4. We have at number 3 because the last one was number four, not number five. I keep thinking top five, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, at number three, we have Nectar. Nectar is too long, and that's why it's below the other two that we're gonna get to, but it is also very well produced for the most part. Some of the songs in the middle of the album are a little strange. Um, not sure why Upgrade's on there, it's too short. Um, the one with Ray Brown, can't even remember the name of it. <laughs> um, Afterthought is pretty good with uh, Benny, 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 Beanie. She's good. I like her actually. She's not that bad. Um, but the closing track, Your Man, is trash. Like probably Joji's worst song. It sounds like a freaking EDM beat. And if I want to be listening to EDM, I'd be listening to Moderat or be listening to some of Tom York's solo stuff or Daft Punk. Not Joji. So there's that. That was pretty bad. Um, that track does a lot of damage to this album. Uh, Gimme Love is not that great, and it's very badly put together. But I do enjoy that song every once in a while. I do enjoy myself a little Gimme Love. Wish someone would Gimme Love. But unfortunately, that's not the case at the moment. Anyways, moving forward. You is one of his best songs ever. Um, great song, super great vocals, uh, I guess I would say TikTok's pretty freaking good, um, I love Pretty Boy, that's a great song, um, Like You Do is super depressing, and another one of Joji's best songs ever, if you ask me. So yeah, those are just a few that I really like, and I love this album. I love all of his albums, and I love them even though I know they're not perfect, and none of them are, if you ask me. But I love them because it's Joji, and because I love Joji to death. So, consider that a bias, I don't know, but I love them. Continuing on to the second Joji album, in my opinion, that is the best. Probably in tongues, which is the one up there. Um, this is as lo-fi and as pink guyish, filthy Frankish we ever had him at. And I wish he would return back to these ruts, honestly, because I love the simplistic production. I love the vocals being not that clear to hear and very drown, drowny, drowned out. You know, um, a little mumbly. Not too much of a fan of mumbly rappers or mumbling anything, but. I do enjoy this record a lot. This EP is pretty freaking solid. Um, it takes a couple songs off of the Chloe Burbank um, album he put out on SoundCloud before he became Joji like full time. And I do enjoy the Chloe Burbank record as well. That is a very fun, very simple lo-fi album that's composed of just a lot of stuff he's made over his time of being a YouTuber and an aspiring musician, and it's good. It is very good. And this has bits and pieces of that, and you can see echoes of it on it. And for that, I love it. 
Moving on to the best album he's ever had, which is Ballads 1. Holy crap. Yeah, right. We got Test Drive. We got Wanted You. We got See You in 40. We got Slow Dancing in the Dark. We got Attention. We got that one song with Trippy Red that I always skip. We got Come Through. Dude, this album I've listened to the most out of any album I've ever listened to. I know that for a fact. I listen to this album the most. This is my favorite album by him. Not my favorite album of all time. But I've listened to this album the most out of any album I've ever listened to. This one I've listened to the most. Um, just because it's always just been, I don't know, it's always something that's easy listening for me and I've always just really enjoyed the aesthetic of it. And it just works. In a lot of atmospheres, it's just the perfect album. I really absolutely positively love this record. I don't think it's perfect because there's a skippable song or two on here. Oh yeah, Why Am I Still in LA is a terrible song. Not good. Anyways, that's my opinion on all of Joji's albums. Ranked. What do you think? Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I awesome? Am I biased? I'm aware I'm biased for Joji, so that, you don't need to even tell me that. I'm aware of that. Anyways, see you guys later.